I've now had the opportunity to experience Apple Vision Pro for a few days and I have a ton of thoughts. But as always, I start with a very short and sweet Carolina's takeaway. You see me standing in my office. You're very familiar with it. This is where I shoot most of my stuff. Uh, but I'm actually standing on the stage of the Steve Jobs Theater uh, an amphitheater, but nevertheless, the Steve Jobs Theater, a place I've been many times. If I turn around, I can see my very big presentation with Carolina's Takeaway on Apple Vision Pro. And there's a picture of me with the headset on. And um, here are my three takeaways, starting with the immersiveness of the experience and the ability to experience something that you cannot do in a different way. So for instance, in this case, Keynote has the ability to allow you to present and rehearse, but you don't have the ability unless you're in Vision Pro to stand on a stage with a real audience theater in front of you to do that. So this is something definitely new and rich, and there are very many different experiences already, including Disney and what Disney has done with some of the content around Marvel and Avengers with the uh, opportunity for you to stand in the Avengers Tower. I am sorry, but I don't really buy Netflix current position of um, not really finding the market that Vision Pro will build interesting enough. I think there's a big opportunity to monetize either on specific content or by creating a higher tier for subscriptions. The second one for me is uh, a big one and is eyesight. So the ability for the screen that you see in, in front of my face uh, to change and the ability for me as uh, a user to get out of any immersive experience as somebody is approaching me. And I think that the ability to do that and staying anchored to your space adds a level of safety um, and reassurance, especially when you want to use the Vision Pro away from a safe environment like your home. Um, it also allows the other person to see the user's eyes so that you can actually have a conversation, say you're, you're collaborating on a project, um, as we do, looking in each other's eyes and talking without having to remove the headset and start uh, all over again creating friction. The third one is persona which is basically an avatar that you create of yourself and you do that through the Vision Pro. I have a separate video that will show that and is pretty close to what I look like, maybe a little bit less um, alive, shall we say. Um, great with expressions. I'm still learning where to keep my hands so that they're visible uh, to the watcher, uh, but I have done um, some FaceTime calls and you can use the uh, persona also when you're doing collaboration with WebEx or Zoom. I think it's the best persona or avatar that I've tried so far, at least something that is closest to me. I think the, the facial expressions are really good from frowning to smiling. Um, the eyes are the only part, in my opinion, that could do with with some some improvement a lot more thoughts that i have that i'll be sharing throughout the week but from now thank you from the steve jobs theater these are my three takeaways